Welcome to another video from the Ultimate GED Math Course. In this video, we will be looking at operations on fractions. Before we look at our questions, we want you to know how you can support the channel and get some exclusive perks. You can join the Ultimate Algebra membership at the supporter level and help us create more videos. Or you can join at the video access level and get exclusive, members only videos. You can also join at the all access level and get direct access to us through text and email. Your support will help us make more videos and help more people pass their tests. Click the join button below this video or the link in the description or pinned comment and let us help you and others succeed in math. Okay, let's take our first question. Question 24. Add one over seven, plus three over seven, plus two over seven. This is really the easiest form of fraction questions. Here, all the fractions have the same denominator, seven. You will put that as the denominator of the answer. Since they have a common denominator, you'll just add the numerators. So we have one plus three plus two. This is six. So our final answer is six over seven. Pretty straightforward. Let's take our next question. Question 25. Add 2 over 3, plus 1 over 5. There are two ways you can solve this. Method 1 is the cross-multiplication method. The first step is to multiply the denominators. We have 3 times 5, this will give us 15 as our denominator. Then we will cross-multiply. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus, 1 times 3 is 3. 10 plus 3 is 13. So we have 13 over 15 as our final answer. The work here is just being able to remember the steps. This method usually works for small numbers and also when you're dealing with two fractions. As you increase the numbers or add more fractions, this method is not very effective. Method two is the LCM method. The format is exactly like what we looked at in question 23 from the previous video. Here, we'll find the LCM of the denominators, 3 and 5. We know that the LCM of the denominators is LCD. This is 15. We looked at three ways of finding the LCM in question 21. You can refer to it if you need a refresh on finding the LCM. After finding the LCD, we'll take the first fraction and ask three times what number will give the LCD 15. This number is 5, so we will multiply this 2 over 3 by 5 to get 10 over 15. Next, we will ask 5 times what number will give us the LCD, 15. The number is 3. We'll multiply the 1 over 5 by 3 to get 3 over 15. Now we can see that the fractions have common denominators. We said, we can simply add the numerator in this case. 10 plus 3. This will give us 13 over the 15. Please. The two methods we used here are nothing new. They are exactly the same process we used to compare fractions in the previous video. Let's look at our next question. Question 26. Multiply the fractions 3 over 7 and 2 over 5. Multiplication is the simplest operation in fractions. All you have to do is multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators. Here, we will multiply 3 times 2 and then multiply 7 times 5. This will give us 6 over 35 as our answer. The only difficulty here is your ability to multiply. Let's take our final question in this video. Question 27. Divide 2 over 7 by 1 over 3. The work here is to convert the division question into multiplication and solve it exactly like we did in question 26. You'll maintain the first fraction, 2 over 7. Then you'll change the division into multiplication. Then finally, you'll flip the second fraction. So instead of having 1 over 3, we'll have 3 over 1. The rest is just multiplication like in the previous question. We will multiply the numerators, 2 times 3 to get 6. Then we will multiply the denominators, 7 times 1 to get 7. So our final answer is 6 over 7. We will end this video here. 
please don't forget to support the channel by becoming a member. Have a great day. See you in the next video.